Hello producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to parallel process your vocals, how to parallel process them, how to give them parallel compression, delay, reverb or chorus, that kind of effects. And today we are gonna talk about how to parallel process the vocals. And thank you for your amazing support on the Discord. We gathered so many producers in the Discord, so we are talking about music, giving feedbacks to each other. So if you are not joined yet, link in the description. You can just join our Discord community. And also guys, I have an announcement to make. This Friday, my new track as a collab with Oli James and Max Aries, Hooked, is gonna release on Oli James' label, Rave Room Recordings. So make sure to be tuned for this Friday. I'm sure you are gonna love the track. If you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. So guys, I'm gonna use the FLP from last video. I'm gonna disable the back vocals for now. If you didn't watch the last week's video, just check it out. I'm gonna give a card to the top. So we basically showed how to parallel the vocals, like mixed ready vocals, you know, uh, with autotune and some EQ work already finished. We just get it from Splice and make it uh, use ready for our tracks. So let's uh, change the routing and I'm gonna show the parallel processing of the vocals. So let's say this is our Vox final bus. So every yellow stuff is rooting to there so this is our dry vox so i'm gonna use vox final as a final uh gooling uh bus and to control all vocal levels so let's get rid of the compression and the delay and the reverb and even the final compression from the dry vocal so we have a vocal like this it's eq and ds there are no other processing okay let's hear how it sounds now <laughs> Nothing could come between us Take it away in the rain Will it ever be the same? Yeah, right now without the compression and stuff, it's pretty weak. So I'm thinking to give it some parallel compression. This time I'm gonna root the dry vocals to the parallel anything bus and the bus also going to the vox final so the vox final contains all the vocals in my project so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna copy the same compressor that i used before it's deactivated in here so and i'm gonna compress and squeeze the sample as much as i can do remember the way that it was nothing could come between us take it away as you see, it's now this going to the distortion because we gave it so much volume. Now, the magic of the parallel processing is just uh, blending the signals wisely. That's all. So I have a dry channel and I have a compression channel and I'm in the compression channel. We are hearing so much compression going on. We just need to blend the signals and I'm going to use the bass as my reference. So let's give the signal just slowly. Remember the way that it was. Nothing could come between us Take it away in the rain Will it ever be the same? Sounds good. And also, I think we can use the de in the Vox final because I want to de the compressed vocals as well. So the parallel processing is like this. You are just separating the same signal to a separate bus and you put some effects on that bus, but that bus will be only dedicated for that specific effects. So if you do it like this, you just parallel compress the vocals. That's all. That's not a big magic. But we are not going to stop from here. Secondly, I want to add some chorus to my vocals. So it's going to be again a parallel processing. The thing I'm gonna do to send the vocals to the chorus bus and I'm gonna add the fruity chorus. It's a really good chorus plugin and you see there is wet only knob, just turn it on. So it means the it means the VST now only gonna play the wet full chorus sound because we have the dry sound separately in here. That's why it must be dedicated to that effect only. It means 100% wet. So let's uh, meet the compressor and maybe we should only hear the chorus for now. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same trick. I'm gonna start it from zero and I'm gonna blend the signals. Remember the way that it was Nothing could come between us Take it away 
I think we could get a bit more volume or we can just mix them a bit more soft so we hear the chorus. And by the way that it was, nothing could come between us. Still, I want to hear more chorus so we can just add some fruity limiter, boost the gain a bit. And by the way that it was, nothing could come between us. Taken away in the rain, will it ever be the same? Don't wanna leave it alone. Feels like I'm leaving my home. You see how chorus is adding so much depth without affecting the original signal. So it's best way to, it's the best thing with parallel processing. And also if you have like several parallel chains and you are trying to glue them, you can always use Rvox for vocals, of course. And let's compress them so they are sound more glued. And by the way that it was, nothing could come between us. Taken away in the rain Will it ever be the same? Don't wanna leave it alone Feels like I'm leaving my home So I think we can have the dry vocals a bit more Remember the way that it was Nothing could come between us Taken away in the rain be the same. It's amazing, like you can control the whole vocals with just one chain, with just one mixer channel, that is amazing. And of course you can just add the delay and the reverb as a send as well. Actually we have we talk about in the vocal processing video, but now it's like more dedicated to only parallel processing. So again we are gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna send the dry vocals to the reverb and in the reverb pass I'm gonna just add some reverb that I like. So. This time, again, we don't want any dry. We just want 100% wet signal. And this time, let's only hear the reverb. Take it away in the rain. Will it ever be the same? I think, yeah, the, the, the problem right now is like my main vocal, it, the dry vocal is not that loud and it's not uh, feeding enough amount of signal to the parallel channel. So, so in this kind of situations, you can always just put some fruity balance and volume it up a bit. It's going to change the other balances as well, but it's good to fix if you have occur some kind of problem. It's best to fix it earlier. Remember the way that it was. So just boosting the volume, so I need to remake the compressor settings. Remember the way that it was, nothing could come between us, take it away in the rain. Now I think I don't need this limiter to boost the chorus. So if you fix some problem, it's gonna fix so much other problems in the future that you can face. Remember the way that it was, nothing could come between us. Take it away in the rain, will it ever be the same? Actually, we could give back the limiter, maybe just several dB. Remember the way that it was, nothing could come between us. Sounds good. Okay, let's work on the reverb now. As I told you, we don't need the, any of the dry signal in the reverb bus, so let's hear how it sounds now. Remember the way that it was, nothing could come between us. could come between us take it away in the rain it sounds so clean right so the best thing on parallel processing so if I wanna change something on the reverb, for exa example, if I wanna give it more highs, I can just add some EQ on it. Could come between us 
You can individually process all the FX if you are using this kind of routing. So it's a really good thing to do. And you have so much freedom like processing the vocals or any of the sounds like this. Even uh, we can go for some saturation, some drive. So let's say you put some distortion plugin uh, as a parallel. Uh, let's go this one. Let's mute them on here, the drive channel. Remember the way that it was Nothing could come between us Take it away Now I just squeeze them I just made it so much dirty So much distortion And all I need to blend the signals It's gonna add so much vintage feeling to the vocals If I do it on the chain On the original chain I probably wouldn't have enough space To put all my FX and like if I put it like this, if I put it as them insert, after compressor, I will have a chorus and the reverb is going to apply to the sound that already has compression and chorus. And drive is drive would add to the sound that is already reverbed, chorus and the compress. So the plugin orders. That's why if you parallel process them, there are no priority on the FX. They are not adding top of each other. They are just be there as themselves so that's why it's more advanced technique you should try for sure so let's blend the drive signal with the original signal oh let's don't forget maybe we can cut some of the lows not to like get interfere with the bass because every distortion plugin as you see is gonna leave some mark Sounds really clean. And lastly, let's add some delays as well. Again, I'm gonna send like this. I'm gonna add the delay. But this time, we don't need any of the dry signal again. You can choose any of the delay plugins, but in here, in this example, I'm gonna just side chain the delay with the original vocal itself. So we are gonna have some more cleaner response. And yeah, after you satisfied with all the FX and after you make all the volume balances, you can just compress them and even you can just put some EQ and like you can color them, make it more clean. So let's cut the loves. Nothing will be quite the same. 
So I think we need the deesser, but I think I also need that in the compressor bus as well because it's loud as my dry vocals. So let's use two of the deessers in here. And by the way that it was, nothing could come between us. Take it away in the rain. Will it ever be the same? Don't wanna leave it alone. Feels like I'm leaving my home. Nothing will be quite the same without you here next to me. And by the way that it was, nothing could. Okay, let's check the FX before I finish the video by one by one. And by the way that it was, nothing could come between us. Take it away in the rain. We'll let it All right, guys, this is how I parallel process my vocals. I'm mostly using this all. I'm using this technique almost in my every track if I'm processing some vocals. If it's not just a loop, if it's a dedicated vocal for my track, I always use this kind of processing. And yeah, please let me know which of the techniques are you using? Are you preferring? Write in the comment section your reasons. If you like insert or if you like parallel processing, which type of person of you? Just let me know in the comment section. Today, that was it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye bye.